For this example, we want to solve the exponential equation using the method of relating the bases by first writing the equation in the form e to the u equals e to the v. We've seen relating the bases before, and this time they've changed the base to be e because that is the base that we see in our example. So our goal is to write it so that we have a base of E on the left and a base of E on the right. We can see that we have E on the left and E on the right. So we'll be able to use some exponential properties to simplify and write this with a base of E on both sides. On the left-hand side, we're able to use the properties of negative exponents to move this e to the six e to the six x to the numerator. We can write that as e to the negative six x. On the right hand side, we have a radical. We need to keep in mind that the radicals can be written as fractional powers. This radical is a square root, and we would write that as e to the one half power. In the denominator, there's no simplification needed at the moment. We'll leave that as e to the 2 minus x. On the right-hand side, we've got division with the same bases. So we're going to be able to use a property of exponents called the quotient rule. And the quotient rule deals with when you have a base to a power divided by that same base to a power. The quotient rule says that we would subtract the exponents to simplify. So that's what we'll do on the right. We have e to the negative 6x equals e to the 1 half minus, we need to make sure we subtract the whole exponent, so I'm putting parentheses around that exponent. So this would give e to the negative 6x equals e to the 1 half minus 2 plus x. I can now say that I've written both sides of the equation with the same base. And by the relating the bases method and the one-to-one -one property, these exponents must be equal to each other. So I can simplify the equation to be negative 6x equals 1 half minus 2 plus x. So I have a linear equation. I'm going to start solving by getting rid of the fraction. So I'll multiply by 2 on the left and multiply by 2 on the right. This gives negative 12x equals 1 minus 4 plus 2x. So what I did is I used distributive property and the 2's canceled. I used a distributive property again, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and then 2 times x is x. I have negative 12x equals negative 3 plus 2x. I combined 1 and negative 4. I'm going to group the x's together, so I'll subtract 2x on both sides. That's negative 14x equals negative 3. And I'll divide both sides by negative 14 to get the x by itself. That reduces to 3 fourteenths. So the solution to 1 over e to the 6x equals square root of e over e to the 2 minus x is 3 fourteenths. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.